welcome back, PML fans. Uh, it's me, Joe, with Stuart and Jaden once again, and we're now going to talk yo, about yo, 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 and we're back. The New we're England Chartriots. Not the New England Chartriots. The the team who gets so close yet so far. Um, his team is my team is G Max Charizard, Torkoal, Duraludon, Toxapex, Morpico, Marowak, Cantonian, Mister Mime, Galarian, Vileplume, Sylveon, and Baramosa. Lay it on thick, guys. Uh, Stu, do you want to take it away? Yeah, well, you're you know, I said before, I, oh, well, I'll just lead in with the, I was, any team that had Charles, I don't know, I was going to mark down, just so you know, that was my yeah. lead into this. Well, what was the, what so, was the quote? Like, someone, someone said this in the, when drafting, it's like, they, someone said, why would you take Charizard in round one instead of Dragapult? <laughs> that was yeah, the- Dragapult's right there. <laughs> it's right there. Just, just take Dragapult. I, I, I don't understand bringing in Charizard, um, just, look, I just don't know, like, he goes down to a pebble, and he does it's not helped because Tor- Torkoal is also no. really weak to rocks, and really weak to ground, and it's just, it's yeah. everywhere. I mean, um, you've got weak to ground, 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 <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's quite, quite a lot of shit going down. It's, oh, look, and there's nothing particularly bulky in this thing, I, I, I personally, I don't know about you, Stu, but I gave him a zero for bulk. Yeah, I, got I, think, I, think it's the, yeah. I think it's the worst. The worst team. I had to give, I I had to give minus one. To in fact, if I could give a minus one, I would have. But no, we had to go with zero. We rounded it up. Yeah. Good lord. No, better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> better than. Wall <laughs> <laughs> um, breaking. I mean, Charizard's not doing anything. It's, it's that one Acceler Rock, one you know, Pebble Stone, one Pebble kicked off the ground. It's dead. Yeah. Um, that's and, right. and it literally, it really is its only. Oh, Pheromos is there too, but you know, again, uh, light breeze. You know, a light breeze pick up a rock, they're it, both down. There's no point in even running them. Uh, yep. So, yeah, zero again. Um, but on speed, though, Pheromos admittedly is quite quick. She's a fast girl. Um, I gave it, so, and one fast Pokemon out of 10 <laughs> makes, you know, pretty easy maths here. One plus one, one plus zero is one. So. One for speed. Um, yeah, yeah, I gave it a one as well, solely because Ferromites is so damn fast. Yeah, uh, there's no synergy, and looking at the team, there's not really any recovery. There's Tox Effects that no. can regenerate, but what is it regenerating to do, really? Um, <laughs> Sit there and die. <laughs> Just gonna die. Yeah, nice and quick and easy this yeah. podcast. Um, I think we've got one each, Joe. Done yeah. bastard. <laughs> well, shit. So um, no, no, I no. gave him an overall overall of one out of fifty. Yep, and that's because of Firamosa. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, that's the hands off that one, mate. That's the next one. All right, next next team. <laughs> just just <laughs> yanking your chain. Just yanking your chain. Excuse um, me, I'm gonna go uh, tie a noose. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So, I mean, it wouldn't be a chosen more team without a Charizard in it, right? Like, so I'm not surprised you took Charizard. G-Max Charizard is the best one, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, well, particularly a four that doesn't huge, have megas. Yeah, it's a huge force to be written with. I mean, G-Max Wildfire is a pain in the ass. Um, yes, it goes down to rocks, but when you're maxed and fast and everything, you know, hopefully you kill before you get killed. Um, yet in Torkoal, doesn't even have to set its own sun. Can set its own sun when it maxes. Can it? No, it can't. Wildfire doesn't do that. Um, so... The residual damage is going to chip teams away. You've got a backup sweeper in Vile Plume. The Raladon, you know, Stalwart is what makes it shine and doubles. You know, you can't be redirected, which will be useful. I mean, you can get rid of those Fables that are trying to redirect. Um, I haven't really seen Toxapex and doubles before, but I'm sure it'll be annoying. Four ground weaknesses make things interesting, but Charizard being immune helps. Um, a lot of ground types have rock coverage, unfortunately, so you'll watch out for that. Mm-hmm. It's not the scariest team on paper, but you know, Charizard alone makes it threatening. Fearmosa can run through teams yeah, if it gets a few beasts. Like Charizard's got solar power too. So that's yeah, crazy. and it's like you know, basically a free life orb. I think it'll be there or thereabouts at the end of the regular season. It all depends on, um, you know, how people counter Charizard. Because I think Charizard will be the kill leader for this team, but 
just oh, depends definitely. on how teams counter it. And I only what do you read? I only drafted Toxic Tech for one reason and one reason only. And to get a bulk uses, point. No, whoever uses Rock Slide is going to find out. Okay. 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 So, um, what did you give for bulk there, Jen? Did you. Did uh, you... Uh, seven. I gave a seven for bulk. Yeah, um, I gave a seven as well. Yeah. Like, there's some. There's Pokemon there with, like, you know good bulk, but it's not... You wouldn't look at this team and say, oh, that's a bulky team. No. Like, you would look... If this was a single, it would be a different story when you got Toxic Effects there that can just take hits like there's no tomorrow. you got Sylveon, which is an absolute beast in its own right, and Marowak can, can take a hit. Like, there's some good Pokemon there that can take... Oh, and Torkoal as well, obviously. Like, there's some good Pokemon in here that can take hits. Like, it's just not... A, it's a double, but I think you're at risk of getting double targeted, I think it's probably... Don't sleep on Mr. Mime with the Evie Light. <clears throat> well, that's also true. Does it get screen cleaner? Yes. Mm. That would be good support. Could be handy. Yeah. I, um, I, yeah. What about? I drafted. What about wall breaking, man? Uh, wall breaking. I went an eight. I think yes. the, Same the as sun towered. Sun towered. Um. Wildfires. Sun um, boosted max air streams. Those will be big, big attacks. Um, I think Duraludon will be would be a great, would be a great, great um, second option in case you know if for whatever reason charge I get take I was take a rocket or an electric attack. Duraludon will be a great option, a great second option to max as well, and I think he can do a good job um, busting holes too. So. I think it's something pretty reasonable. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with oh, that. Oh, as well. Good quick kills. I like it. Totally. And that goes into the speed tiers, which I gave an 8 as well for the speed tiers for the same reason. Yep. Um, um, you know, Sun Boosted, Foul Plume, um, Charizard after a Max Air Stream, um, more Pico doing more Pico things. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, Marowak's pretty quick too. Like, yeah. It's, it, it's not fast, but it's not slowly. It's one of those middle tier. I think it's 70, yeah. actually. Let me have a quick look. Uh, no, it is very slow. It is 45. But yeah, that makes it good for Trick Room. I actually thought it was 70. Oh, right. I don't know what I was thinking. But that's okay. <laughs> um, but, you know, 45 speed would be good for um, Trick Room. But yes, I gave him an 8. Yep, and then support. Support was a seven. Um, yeah, he's got he's got good sun setting ability with the Torkoal. That's going to provide that's going to be providing the, the most support for this team. And I think you can't. I think that takes a big chunk of my score. And I think you can't look too far. I don't think all the people would disagree with that because without Torkoal, without Torkoal support, the team falls apart. Yeah, I will give you. A... <laughs> I, have, I have to. I have to tell you why a few more mons should uh, be noticed for support. Uh, more Pico is a good supporter. That's why I drafted it uh, high in tier four, and uh, of course, Mister Mime being a screen setter mostly. Also, some fake out pressure, stuff like that. Mm. Well, and still be on the useful too for, for mm -hmm. that. Well, Pekka kind of reminds me of um, Dedenny a bit. And Dedenny is actually, I feel, not a bad Pokemon either. I think people do sleep on it. I remember I helped a friend draft a Mono Fairy team and we had Dedenny in there as a, as a meme initially, but it actually did really, really well. Because... Um, if I underestimated it, but it's still average. Yeah, I'm, I get that. Yeah, yeah. And I think we'll yeah, Pekka falls in that same category. Because if you look at its like, move, you've got Fake Out, it's Electroweb, um, you know, Parting Shot, it, it can or, be or really wheel. annoying. Or a wheel, you know, switching between all... Jeez, oh, 110 base power. Like... And it boosts your speed. It's in it. <clears throat> yeah, well, you know, there's that as well. Like, it doesn't... It's not a Pokemon to sleep on. It's... If you're not prepared for it, you're going to find you're in for a really, really bad time. Um, even things like Super Bank. You know, a defensively set up Pokemon 
will hate to have a super fang on it. So yeah, I think that, you know, support is pretty good. All right. And then that, Stu, did you give your grade? Yeah. Oh, seven. Yep. Oh, cool. And that brings us to Team Synergy. And I gave you an eight, Synergy. I think I gave you all the same grades. I gave an, I gave an eight, too. There we go. Fair and bound. People think people would think that we were colluding, Stu, not um, yeah. the, the, the zeros that we were given in before. No, the zeros were, were just luck, I think. But um, I think that. So. Yeah. So we got the same totals, didn't we? I don't know. That was purely yeah, by chance, though. What did, I, what did I go? I went seven for bulk, eight for wall breaking, eight for speed control, seven for support, and eight for synergy for a total of 38 out of 40. Yep. Same here. Twins. There we go. And, that, and that's why they call me the average Jew. <laughs> oh, I'm actually on. Such a crappy jacket. So good. <laughs> well, all right, guys. That is the Chartreuse, and we'll move on to the next team.